You're never alone with a spider. I call her Ida, my six late spider. You see, I checked her out in my arachnid book and know she's of the fairer sex. But how she lost two shapely legs she cannot tell. With four one side and two the other, she cuts a dashing curve across the floor and ends up near her starting point, where she waits a while to regain strength for yet another Paralympic scurry. Thinking it's the bathroom that she wants, and a sip of water from the tub, I place a saucer within six paces of her reluctant insect form and wait. Two hours later she's still standing there, and the sauce is dry. Did she take a lick while I wasn't looking, or did the water just evaporate? Like with the missing legs, I'll never know for sure, but this is what I think about her accident. One giant step it took to pin my spider to the floor, but she gamely struggled free, losing two limbs above the hairy knee. Little wonder, then, that she's reluctant to court more danger from this human stranger. Each day I find her in the room, I count my blessings, and hers too, and yearn to see her grow another pair. But she's no regenerating worm, and besides, I wouldn't know her then. So I speak to her, and hope that little by little, my Ida will learn a spider trust of me. My voice, her silence, what a perfect combination. <laughs>